Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, um, most of my orchids here, the delicate orchids, are back inside my Florida room or my uh, orchid room right here. Look at that because I'm um, last week. We dropped, the temperature dropped to um, low 40s, like 42, 44, something like that for a week. And then um, Habi and I, we just like in a hurry and just stuff them in here with the, everything from the back, like um, from the Phalaenopsis and Sediums, Catlia, the Vanda types are in here. The ones outside left over because it's not frosty, it's just cold but not not no frost so my cymbidiums and the nobilis are still outside they need a cold temperature to um initiate some spikes but look at here and some of them um are inside uh, the main house this one right here is my um orchid cactus which it has still has a bud forming right there yeah that one tiny right now the other bloom I didn't uh, catch it in the video because like um it didn't the bloom this didn't last long yeah my pomegranate here this one hates to be um uh, in the cold so it started yellowing and then the leaves will fall off and it's gonna come back again in the in the um, spring I believe this is the the seed that I planted it's from um wonderful pomegranate yeah and i harvested some of my um kiki yes i like i'm gonna pot the um soon my cut layer that i hang this one is the maxillary tinofolia this one is i believe is my um insidium wildcat bobcat yeah it is blooming She's got more buds, but some of them um, it got damaged from when I went away for a vacation. Um, it got damaged from the sun. But it regrow that one, the other spike. Yeah, and all the babies in there. And some the Hoya. And more orchid cactus. And uh, the spring cactus are in there. And my... Um, I'll show you that later some of them are hanging yeah and then um, I have a few blooms here this one it opened a few days ago yeah my psychopsis need to take care of that today too they need some water that one right there it's blooming also my it's facing the wall yeah and one of the spikes broke off right there the original um spike broke off during the um the dangerous thunderstorm outside yeah and that bud that's facing the wall there's a new one that opened yeah and this one right here it's still the epicatanti um volcano trick volcano queen it's still pretty even though it got a lot of damage from the element outside yeah it's still as beautiful as ever I love that autumn color right there yep it matches because it's autumn already too yeah and this one's a surprise it put out three buds I'm so happy this is uh, in a um, semi hydro yeah it's the encyclia Radiata, look at that. Yeah, need water though. And that one right there is my dancing lady in the semi hydro. Oh, isn't that gorgeous, guys? Wow, I love, love, love that color. And oh my god, that thing over in the corner it has a lot of um, I love the outdoors. It produces a lot of um, roots. It's dark that side in there. Oh, goodness. This one, some of the buds in here from 
it got damaged from the cold it has the three buds but some buds survived and that one over there too far away and there's a bloom there too I forgot the name it's a big bloom it's far away I can't reach it right now guys because orchids everywhere oh I see some I spotted some uh, cutlia buds right there see guys my cutlia that's a big beautiful one I forgot the name right now yeah the par uh, spot paradise I believe yep it has some buds so excited and my picture plants producing more pictures I mean at least that I can see here there are two new pictures that one yeah the dahlia I'm gonna overwinter that one that one that's a dwarf dahlia I'm gonna overwinter that one needs water today and the one look at that massive swan orchid yeah it's it's there I'm gonna water that today as well yeah same as this one yeah they need some water so I'm gonna do life's very busy right now so but I'm still gonna take care of them this um, Bilara is in here it has a three spike one oh four oh what a surprise look at that two three and four lucky for me I don't know if it's gonna produce more but you know I'll take whatever you're gonna give me and let me look in here it's a lot in here guys got stuff shuffled all around my husband helped me just put in here this cutlia it has a sheath right there yeah like that that one it won't focus though sorry yeah it's a sheath wow and and this miniature cutlia it has a sheath as well and i can see you see in the shadow guys yeah there's a bud there and behind is my uh, cookies and cream um strawberry and cream something like that so, yeah, strawberry and cream hoya beautiful and i have more orchids hanging in there yeah i need to take care of them today it's been a week since they're here and haven't watered them yeah. and a lot in here let's stop on this uh, bud Kalia bud too yeah right there Kalia bud yeah and this Kalia here is, oh there's another one the bud coming off right there uh not coming off there it's showing up like that it's tiny right now but it's gonna have a flower this one need water so close to the fan yeah I got my turmeric in there oh it's a beautiful leaves of the hoya um near the heart shape one yeah it's nice and it's making a new extensions here yeah more orchids right there hanging that's it you know a lot and another turmeric yeah and these are the orchids that I put indoors with my African violets right now. Yeah. This one right here is the potted um, division of my uh, Shilab Tolkien. It has a four spike. Yeah, and look at this. It started to open. It's gorgeous. It's buds, not yet, but some are open around like that. This one, this one yellowed. It's uh, it gotten cold for. Uh, um, a bit outside and this one right here this spike is fully um, open right there oh except for the one in the tip sorry yeah gorgeous but the ones behind it by the window over there those are the other division that I put in a semi hydro it's pretty much done yeah this one here so the experiment is better uh, between the two division I 
you know I, all I can see is the the one that flower the most is the one is the bark mix medium yeah and look at this African buy yeah super gorgeous and I got African violet in there that's flowering that one's flowering that one is flowering as well look at yeah they are available in bloomlovers.com yeah look at that and that's my um got my collection right there nice got more there nice let's see got the semi hydro and uh, sorry about the shakiness got my bandages right here I'm not uh, I still have some that put, I have to put here and I have um, some palanopsis spikes hanging in the top of my um, sink got watered that and this got Leah in here that I have it has a sheath as well yeah I'm gonna have lots of blooms soon you know there's a sheath and this one I thought it was dying it has a new growth and this got Leah right here it has a bloom already it's one but it's gorgeous look at that guys yeah. I can't get to the name of, the, of this one right now but isn't she adorable let's see yeah she's gorgeous <laughs> and this one's big cat Leah it has a lot of new growth yeah and believable I'll try to move slowly and you know these rose they hate the cold and I lost one seedling now I I used to have three seedlings that I planted from seed now I'm down to two because one it just suffered cold damage yeah and slowly span here I brought one um new orchid cactus that just I just propagate in here and just put, brought it indoors yeah and that's the experiment that it never uh, pan out never get a baby from the things more than a year it's just only a moss growing and that's the one that Vanda that I baby it's still no blooms from that healthy African buy look at that beautiful and that's the one guys the one that is pretty much done short lived it's in the semi hydro Tolkien and down 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 under <laughs> with cinnamon candy blooms of my African violet yeah gorgeous and this phalaenopsis right here is just showing off it's very nice color yeah that is very awesome and this is my favorite African buy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This one's available in bloomlovers.com. It's what? This, that's where I bought them. Yeah. Beautiful. And then white fall, always present. Yeah, and Maui is reblooming again. This is the beginning, first flower that opens in a spike right here. Yeah, Maui's big. Look at that. I love them. And this one was growing outside because it has a lot of um, has a uh, mealy bugs indoors so I put it outdoors and it got um damage from in the leaves so but it 
when it was um, dropping the temperature outside and it brought me a spike two actually one and two in uh, number two here is curly but it's a second spike so proud of it it's in the semi hydro I love it outside yeah and look at all this slumber jira oh my gosh look at guys shocking and <laughs> surprise really I already seen some buds uh oh this one growing in there too oh my goodness wow they felt the um, chains of um, temperature outside too because they, they like um, to have a cold temperature as well the chains of temperature for them to bud I already oh this one too started budding this is from the old one see this one's old one I repotted it like um uh, last season late last season or I believe yeah and in the self watering container this one used to be so big and one big um clump in that thing right here um died and it created a hole in the like a tubular hole but it's like big again yeah and this one too this is my red one very nice and this fall in here in this constricted kind of container Look at that, look at all these roots. It's spiking. Yeah, it felt the change of the temperature. Look at that. Yeah, there's a spike right there. Mm -hmm. And there's like, like I said, one of my big falls is hanging in the window right now. I watered it. It has a spike as well. Yeah. This one here, guys. It's my tiny twinkle. Yeah, this one is still. <laughs> It's producing one in the tip, the older spike, but it has um four spike for this season, and it grew the the fifth one. It's a brand new spike right there. Yeah, a tiny twinkle. Wow. And my African violets are in there. Yeah. And now we are outdoors, guys. Let's check out the. Symbidiums and the nobilis like this one. This one I just repotted it in here. But look at guys, it has a nubbin right here. It's a nubbin. It has been cold for several days. This twig, look at this. That one. Yeah, they're shriveled because like I haven't watered them, and then it's cold. Look at that, see? At least how many in there that I can see. Three nubbins. Wow. Where else? They don't um, show up the nubbins at the same time. They do it in succession for me. Yeah. Which is fine. And this is a cymbidium. So far, I hadn't seen any. Uh, you see, I didn't really check. Seriously, I didn't check them, but not yet. It, it takes time, but oh, this one is still have a, a baby, baby in there. Sorry, sorry, that one's a little baby. It's not big enough. Yeah, look at the avocado, guys. I haven't watered that, so I don't think I will water that because I'm not gonna bring the indoors now it's too big for me now bring it I'm just gonna let the winter take care of it and I know I'm not gonna see that next year it's too big I can't carry them inside anymore I'm done taking care of that avocado I planted it from a pet yeah This is my uh, Symbidium, Symb um, Dendrobium kingianum, very compact plant. Look at this, guys. This is one of my kiki that I grow in this mid medium bark mix. And oh my gosh, look, it has a new um, growth in here too. But it, this one's exposed in the cold, so I am hoping that it's gonna. Oh, it looks like it's gonna flower, guys. Look, either flower or a kiki. It's swollen already right here. 
like one, two. Over here, this is a swill, swollen eyes right there. I'm so excited. It would be the first time to um bloom. Um, I have this, oh, three. Three swollen eyes in there, guys. See that? I'm hoping it's eye buds. Yeah, it's been outside. This I have this um uh, two years ago already. It was just like one small kiki. And look at that. I'm so happy with this. They're very fragrant and I love the color. Very small. Kingianum. And it's from my own um kiki. Yeah. From my own plant. And I planted a kiki in here. And look, one kiki turned into this. Awesome, awesome. Hmm. This is my other nobilis. It's getting big now. Look at that. A lot, but I still have space. I still have space to grow. And yeah, there, room to grow in this pot. Yeah. That one right there, it was so beautiful last February when it was blooming indoors. Awesome. Look at this. It has a lot of new growth. And this one used to be gun sick by the mealy bug but I think it's clean now but I'm hoping it didn't come back yeah and I transplanted the cymbidium uh, saucy Q right there and this is another cymbidium of mine this one it has a lot of spike last winter I don't know if it's gonna give me this time but I'm hoping because I did not disturb this one Yes, I'm hoping it's gonna get me more. And this is my original Dendrobium kingianum. From a small plant, from uh, maybe three, three or four years ago, maybe two, three and a half ago. This is my um, Dendrobium kingianum. It produces a lot of flowers already. Um, last winter and it's resting now waiting for a new I'm waiting for a new set of flowers yeah gorgeous it's getting big look at that guys you know mm -hmm. still in the original plot um, pot that I planted it in and they didn't didn't um, replanted it I mean I didn't repot yeah still have room to grow yeah. And I have more cymbidiums right here. I just love cymbidiums. Oh guys, look at guys. This one's started early, but I'm not sure yet if it's oh there are two. Uh, uh I'm hoping that it's so early to tell you guys. It's so early to tell. But all I know that there's one growth, the second growth, but I think it's going to be a flower spike. It's a um, very rounded fat in the that one that I can tell is rounded fat around. It's like the sign of um bud um spike forming, but this one I can't tell yet. It's only pointy stuff, but it's still stuck to the side of the of the pseudo ball I can't tell but at least there's one there's one um thing in there that I can uh you know I can wait and be excited about and this one is possible number two let me turn it around oh my god I'm so excited already I'm gonna have at least two cymbidium flowers let's see I think it's the same thing I don't know I think that's the one I saw. Oh! Look guys! Third one! See? See that guys? One, two. And that's the third. Third, fourth! Oh, there's four guys! Four! Possibly. Four or possibly five right here. I don't know guys. There's at least uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> 
And possibly number five, you know, oh, maybe just four right now. Four guys, I'm so excited, guys. I already, I already, you know, spotted at least four symbidium here. We got a winner. Ding, 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 ding. A winner on that path. Nice. And this one, I don't know. Oh, this one, I don't know. It's still very small, but and it has a growth, new growth already, but probably just a growth. And one right here. Let me see here. Uh, I didn't see anything. Yeah, it's small. That's okay. But what about this one? This one's, this one's very dense. Sorry, guys. A lot of um, autumn leaves has fallen on top of this one. It's nice to have fungi right there growing. Fungus. Oh, this is so dense. I think I need repotted. I thought it might make spring. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's already insect in there. Baboy, baboy, or roly poly. Oh. It looks like there's some new growth right there, guy. It could be a spike. Like small right there. Oh my god. Maybe in my next update, guys, they'll be a little bit bigger. And I can um, easily uh, show it to you. This one's so small. This one is just a new growth. Sorry about that video quality. Uh, I'm not very known for video quality anyway. I just point and shoot. Sorry about that, guys. It mean to give you a headache yeah hope you get some of that too yeah and this one guys is my the smallest that I have I raised this as a seedling this is um Symbidium King Arthur green giant he's gonna be a giant soon from only the one tiny uh, start used to be in here then this one the star oh, still alive still hard grow it grew that one it grow this one then this year is this one she's gonna be or he is gonna be big call him he because the name is king arthur so respect for king arthur so i call this symbidium a he this one has a bad leaves i don't know why it's a brand new um brand new um pa repotted but the leaves is just it has a black streak to it. This is Symbidium uh, re-ranking. Yeah. I got this one as a seedling too, but it has grown a lot. The new one, new growth, it has uh, it's a Naoki leaf. Yeah. Let me see what is going on here with my, there is my nobilis. This one it needs to be repotted into a bigger one. Look at what the slug damage, guys. Slugs, look at that. The slugs eat, put a hole in here. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Oh, this one, it has a nubbin. Yeah. There's a nubbin right there. It just started. Just started. Look at that. More slug damage. Oh, man. Yeah, I did not put a slug control this year because I keep moving them around because the animals keep knocking them over my shelf. That's why I got leaf damage just like this. Yeah, because they're when I come back, and when I um, I leave home, then I come back and then they'll be in the ground. Then the slug would eat them if they're in the ground if I don't see them right away. Yeah more there more here this one oh look at this guys look how early this one is it's a bud already didn't even notice the spike i mean the nubbin look at that focus please yeah it's a nubbin this is the white one white white with green um could be a spring bird upon because it's um, white, frilly, and there's greenish in the center, and in the edge are pinkish. Yeah. And this has a nubbin right there. That one I see now. Yeah. Oh, it's this ants. This ants. Yeah. Oh, well, it's gonna be pretty exciting the next arms. Um, 
update maybe this one it grow like um the, the in different directions so i just tie them like that to become closer again and it, it fell down and it, the animal broke the part then i just transplant this in this um different short and wide part yeah so put them in there it looks okay it didn't finish growing though the baby see it's still a uh, adolescent <laughs> it didn't finish growing for this season which is okay you know i have plenty of buds in a way i can enjoy other blooms so they can just grow i don't mind i don't force my plant to go on flower you know look at that guys isn't she gorgeous yeah that is my amazing begonia rex when it is in the sunshine all the time it it um changes color into orange fiery red orange and now i put them put this one in a more shaded area and you can see at least one to three tones of um color in it isn't that gorgeous guys so gorgeous indeed wow look at guy oh in the back there's an oven in my nobili right there right there i just spotted it amazing well i know my orchid is gonna continue to surprise me because especially it's a nobili season and cymbidium cymbidium i i didn't expect the the show but the showing up already but one of them as you can see in my video in this video that i already at least four expecting so at least i have four flowers you know that's coming up in my cymbidium and they're gonna be ready in about midwinter they take they take long time to um process that thing you know to grow all that thing they need a lot of energy and uh okay guys uh, i will end the video now and thank you very much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day or night you know wherever you are in the world and what time you watch my video so i'll just greet you all the same have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening or a wonderful night bye now